back to my channel today. We are going to do the final showdown for the March Boxy Lux and Boxy Charm box. I went ahead and I put every single item that I received into my cute little train case over here. I, I wait, I'm lying. I am so lying. There's one product that I can't seem to find. I know it's somewhere in here outside of its box, just sitting there sideways, and it's the lashes. Okay, so the lashes, so this is what happened, right? Um, the Lily lashes, I received them, I wore them about three times, one day I got home, super, super tired, took them off, laid them on this filming table, and I haven't seen them since. I'm sure they're here somewhere, but I haven't seen them since. So um, I, I gotta look for them. With that said though, I really did like them. I did have to trim the ends just a little bit, but they're super like fanny, like fanny, fanny, is that a thing? They're super wispy in the ends and they do give me that cat eye effect that I absolutely love. They were not heavy at all whatsoever. So if you're the type of person that generally likes a very like natural and super light lash, this is a really nice introduction towards a more dramatic lash. These were just like, I don't know, perfect for day and night looks. I personally really did like them. I don't like heavy lashes. The band was really comfortable. I don't know, like I totally forgot that I had lashes on once they were applied. That's how comfortable they were. I would definitely repurchase because I actually like them a lot. The only thing is I, I have to find the ones that I have here, but if I don't find them, that's fine. I will repurchase another few sets. That way I'll have backups because clearly I am extremely irresponsible with my lashes. Let's move on to the little train case. I actually really like the print. It is a very pretty kind of like hollow, but also rolls gold print. I like the inside. I like that it has the logo, my personal opinion. It should have had the logo at the top or in the front, but it is what it is. I kind of would say would have been nice if the base would have been sturdier because at this point the more weight you apply it's just like a lump at the bottom the fishy smell is gone i did leave it open overnight and that fishy smell completely like went away and it smells fine now no fishiness at all let's move on to the actual products this palette over here i really do like it i it just gets dirty because of like the packaging it gets dirty big time i did get the light medium and I have definitely, wait, where is it? Look, look how gross that looks. I've definitely been using it. Um, I have to tell you though, my favorites, favorites out of this palette, everything is beautiful, but my favorites are the bronzer, this highlighter, and the brightener. Because that brightener on the inner corner just looks so great. I don't know, like I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to, just to kind of show you guys, like look at that. <laughs> Just one swipe and it just makes a difference and it looks so good. So I absolutely do love this palette. For those of you who have been waiting to see if I got my hands on the darker one because I did end up getting two of these, one in my Boxy Lux and then one in my regular, I did get my hands on the darker palette. And I am going to apologize to you guys for not having come on my channel and actually doing a look with the palette. The moment I opened it, I knew it was way too dark for me to just simply apply it. I was really going to have to play around with it in order to pull it off and not look overly crazy, like deep down bronze. And so I have another coworker who, it would have been perfect for her skin tone and she absolutely loved the palette. She thought it was a really pretty and she immediately said, oh, that th this would be a good bronzer for me. On a whim, I just said, here, you can have it. I didn't find it fair for me to just dip into the palette to use each shade once and then give it up. Like I knew I wasn't going to revisit the palette. It was just gonna end up in my collection. So that is why you did not see a video on that palette. Did I get a darker one? Absolutely, I swapped for one, but I ended up giving it away brand new to a friend who I think is very deserving of it. So I do apologize that I didn't do a video on it, but I just I just didn't find it fair to just use a palette once and then give it away. You know what I mean? The next product we're gonna talk about is the Confidence in a Cream by It Cosmetic. That was like real HSN, right? <laughs> anyway, so this is a really expensive, a really heavy, smells really good, and it is amazing and I, I I get it I get it I had tried it before and now that I own it I get it this literally moisturizes the crap 
out of your face this i do prefer to use at night but i do really like it and i'm really 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 happy that we did end up getting this product in the boxy Lux box because this alone made the box worth it to me next we have the wonder pink mask it is a peel off mask you guys saw me pull it off on camera what you didn't see is that i did end up uh removing all the peach fuzz from my face and then using this baby and it actually is really comfortable to peel off when you have zero peach fuzz i like it and i like the effect that i get it's very brightening right after you remove the mask super brightening i absolutely love it and i'm really happy that we got it in the box and we got to give this baby a try i would definitely repurchase it the next item is this manica dar uh mascara it, it's really nice it does have as you guys can kind of see it does look like it has and it has like fibers in it really comfortable i didn't like i like the formula but it doesn't like super build it up like crazy and that's perfectly fine because i can definitely use this for like my natural days to kind of build it up two and three uh coats would definitely give me the coating that i would like for a natural day like nice and thick type of lashes but not like blah, blah, boom. the only thing is though that i've noticed some flaking like throughout the day and I'm not sure if it's because I touched my face or not but I have noticed like little bits of flaking and I'm like what is that and then the moment I kind of go like this now I have a streak of like black in my face I have to like blend it out it's not a deal breaker I will continue to use it but it's just kind of like but why though I'm confused. Are any of you guys having the same problem? If you got the mascara, let me know. Then we have the Ofra Liquid Lipstick in Monaco. This one's really pretty. I don't necessarily go for like pinky pinky ones that are like metallic and I feel like it is a shade that's super flattering on many skin tones I really do like the formula because although it's a metallic it's not like boom in your face a little much it just looks like a liquid lipstick with a little bit of sheen to it and again it's really comfortable I do kind of wish the formula lasted a little longer but other than that I'm glad we did get it in a box and I got to try the metallic formula by Ofra. Then we have the two brushes. I'm only going to show you these two because since I got another box, I did get another set that went into a giveaway. This brush is really good. I've used it to kind of bronze my skin and I like that it cuts my bronzing in half because it is a very thick and big brush so I can like, I can deal with a lot of the areas a lot quicker. It does apply product on more areas a lot quicker and i really do like this i have no complaints it blends nicely and that's about as much as i can say because it's a brush but royal and lanical really do have really nice brushes and the packaging makes it like even better now with this brush over here yes it is a highlighting brush i don't know i don't like how flimsy it is i like a more dense brush you know that i can pack on like this brush would never give me this effect unless i really built it up so it's a cute brush it's a cute brush i just um i might use it to kind of like i don't know dust off bake under my eye because for highlighting i don't know i just but this is great for anyone who wants a really kind of like glow from within very light and subtle highlight but y'all know that's not me so mm -mm. then we have the zebra lip mint nail polishes as you can see they're still in the packaging and they're going to stay in the packaging because this i had to take out of my giveaway bin so i can show you guys i still haven't used them i'm not going to use them and i'm glad that i didn't because there's some people who actually liked the formula and then there were a lot of other people who said omg you were right i applied it and within 24 hours it started chipping that is not cool now i don't know if it's based on whether you have strong and sturdy nails or if yours are like like super paper thin and tend to just like chip away you know I, I i don't know my nails are paper thin and i have to use a nail polish a base coat and a top coat that's going to help them stay and be strong and i know this it's just mm, i've done it and it just doesn't work they do chip away on my nails so that was my experience with the brand prior to having received it in a box at your box i kind of could have done without this in my box I would kind of hope that they don't bring any more Deborah Lipman products in the box. That's just my opinion. Don't chew my head off. It's just, hmm. Now let's talk about the Becca lipstick over here. Look how pretty it is. Uh, she's so pretty. This one is in 
W Bear. It is a shade that I have on the center of my lips right now. As you can see, it is a beautiful nude, but it can wash me out because of my skin tone. So what I ended up doing was I used a brown lip liner just to bring my lips back to life so you can tell where they start and where they end because it could get a little messy looking, you know? And I, don't, I didn't want to look like, you know, pale. Hmm. The formula is really creamy. I This is my first Becca lipstick, by the way. Really creamy, I do like it. It lasts pretty decently and it fades away gracefully and I really do like it. Um, and then the packaging, come on, like it's a magnetic closure, like what? I'm glad I got a nude because I did update my survey about a month and a half ago or a month ago and I did change my preferences from like wild card send me whatever to nudes because I'm getting a lot of reds. <laughs> So, and I ended up getting a nude this time, so that's kind of exciting. Let's see going forward how they're gonna stick to your like survey options, like your beauty quiz selections, you know? But as of right now, I'm excited. This was actually a really good shade for me, and I love it, and I've been using it a lot lately. Then, the second to last product is this iconic uh, brow cushion. I was a skeptic. I wasn't sure how I would feel about it, yet, I've been using it every single day and it is what I've been using on my brows. That's what I have on my brows right now. I absolutely love this. I do love a dip brow pomade, but I like the idea of this because it's just so effortless and you're painting your brows on and it just goes on like this. And honestly, I find that I have to do no blending at all whatsoever. I just apply where I need it and call it a day. I do notice two things first of all i did notice that the cushion the little sponge situation was a lot wetter when i initially used it like the first day and the second day and now about a month into it there's less product in it so i just hope that this is not drying out that quickly i mean i don't leave it open at all i just pop it open, I dip, I close, I do my brows, and I open it again as I need it. The least amount of time I have it open, the better, but I did notice the cushion is not as moist as it used to be, and that's a little concerning to me because this is a pricey product, so it's not something that it's I want to replace on a monthly basis. Do I love it? Yes. Do I want to replace monthly? Not for that price. I'm going to research and see if there are any other brands that have like a brow cushion product like this, if you know of anyone, let me know because I am more than willing to try them. I am so 100% into this type of product, just not the price. The second thing that I noticed that I didn't like was I did get two shades. I know we all did. I feel like they should create this product where you're paying for one shade versus two only because you're getting two shades, but you're not using the other one. So you're kind of wasting your money. And again, this is not cheap. There should be one pan, one shade, one price, that's it. Okay, now we are down to the very last product and that is the Morphe, this is the 15D palette. You guys saw the look that I created with this baby. If you're new and didn't get to see that look, I'm gonna link it up here for you guys. I hope you enjoy it. That was a lot of fun to create. I don't know what to say, I love my palette. That's it, I love my palette. You guys know I'm an eyeshadow junkie and if an eyeshadow palette is good, I'm gonna tell you that it's good. If it's blendable, if it's pigmented, if it blends away to nothing, you know I'm gonna tell you that. And I have really been playing around with all these shades and I have zero complaints as of right now. Everything has blended so well, so nicely and it lasts all freaking day. The formula is amazeballs. Yeah, so I don't know what else to say, but I absolutely love my palette and I got the shades that I would use, a lot of browns, a lot of chocolates, and a lot of oranges, and yeah, just up my alley. Okay guys, that is a wrap for this video. With that said, make sure that you sign up for my giveaway if you haven't already. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, click up here, I'm linking the video where I announced the giveaway and then the link to the form so that you can submit your entry and all that good stuff is on that video's description box and all that good stuff. So just make sure you go sign up if you haven't yet because we still got about a week and a half left before I have to choose a winner. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video as per usual. My social media platforms are right here. Make sure you go follow me there if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye guys.
Thank you.